Into the home stretch now, but it's the hardest sections coming up. Video 11, Working with APIs. In the modern web development landscape, working with application programming interfaces or APIs is a critical skill. APIs allow us to communicate with other web services and retrieve or send data. Whether you're fetching a weather forecast, displaying user profiles from a social network, or integrating with a payment gateway, you'll likely be working with APIs. In this video, we'll learn how to fetch data from APIs and display it on your website. We'll leverage what we've learned about promises and a sync slash await to make this process smooth and elegant. Fetching data from APIs. An API is a set of rules and protocols that allow different software entities to communicate with each other. Think of it as a menu in a restaurant, you select what you want, and the kitchen, the server in this example, prepares the dish and serves it to you, the client. Understanding APIs helps in fetching and sending data between different systems, making them interact and function together. Using the Fetch API provides a modern way to make HTTP requests in JavaScript. It returns a promise that resolves with the response object representing the response to the request. This code fetches data from the given URL and converts the response to a JSON object. If successful, it logs the data, otherwise, it logs an error message. The Fetch API, combined with promises, makes retrieving data from an API straightforward and clean. A sync slash await with Fetch. You can combine the Fetch API with a sync slash await for even more readable code. By using a sync slash await, we've turned our data fetching code into a more synchronous looking structure, making it easier to understand. A sync slash await can make working with the Fetch API more enjoyable and the code more maintainable. Section 2, Displaying API Data. Dynamically creating HTML elements. Once you've fetched data from an API, you often want to display it on your web page. You can dynamically create and manipulate HTML elements using JavaScript. This function takes an array of users and creates a div for each one, appending them to a container element with the ID users. Dynamically creating HTML elements allows you to build interactive and responsive user interfaces. Putting it all together. Let's combine everything we've learned to fetch data from an API and display it on our web page. This code fetches users from the given API and calls the display users function to show them on the web page. By combining promises, a sync slash await, the fetch API, and DOM manipulation, you can create rich and interactive web experiences. Working with APIs is a cornerstone of modern web development. It allows you to create rich, interactive, and dynamic applications by leveraging data and services provided by other platforms. The skills you've learned in this video will enable you to fetch and display data from various APIs, a fundamental part of building modern web applications. Keep experimenting with different APIs, and you'll discover endless possibilities to enhance your projects.